I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we'll see Jared Goff and the NFC champion Los Angeles Rams as they square off against second-year man Sam Darnold and the new look New York Jets. With that, we head up to MetLife Stadium as we'll hand it over to the two men that'll call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the Los Angeles Rams. Well, along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, if you go by the 2018 record, this one, it's a mismatch on paper. That's what it is. But I know you, and I have a feeling you're going to say, with respect to a broadcasting legend, <laughs> not so fast, my friend. Not only that, I hear you're not so fast, and I raise you. Have you ever heard the term, any given Sunday? Or should I say Thursday, or Monday, <laughs> or Saturday? Whenever the NFL teams play, anything can happen. To get the party started, the Jets' new kicker for 2019, Chandler Catanzaro. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. While in college, quarterback teams that improved their win total from one his freshman year, to five his sophomore year, to eight his junior year. Love that type of improvement. Love that type of diligence. Here we go, here we go. Switch, switch, switch. Cut. A play fake to Gurley, now gone. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Goff. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. They go play action here on first down. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time. And that'll bring up second down. And quickly now, here's a look at the Rams offense. And I think the entire league benefited when Andrew Whitworth made the decision to come back for his 13th NFL season. Still one of the best offensive tackles in the game. Four Pro Bowls, two times first team All-Pro. He's now 10th among active players in the NFL in game started. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now the third leading rusher in the NFL last year, Todd Gurley. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. And a look now at how the Jets line up defensively. One of the best young safeties in the NFL, Jamal Adams. Keep an eye out for him because no one is safe when he's on the field, including mascots. Just ask Pat the Patriot. Jamal Adams was also the 2019 Pro Bowl defensive MVP. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. A shotgun snap for Gone. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. 
Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. And Gurley here fumbled it. Gurley fumbles the football. It's loose. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Robbie Anderson making his way back onto the field. And you look at the numbers, not only has he not caught a pass, they haven't targeted him yet, and we're coming up toward halftime. And you remember our meeting with the coach beforehand? What did he tell us about him? I write his number on my play sheet, and I circle it in bold, bold type because I want to make sure he gets the ball and often. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. You can't block me. So following the fumble recovery, here's Darnold. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. Darnold off the play fake to Bell. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. The shotgun snap for Darnold. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. On fourth down, here's Lachlan Edwards to punt it. JoJo Natson back deep for the Rams. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Now the question, what do you do here? Time, not really an issue. You got over a minute, but you figure from this spot, you'd need a good 50, 60 yards to even consider a field goal try. Yeah, so there's optimism there, but there's also a little bit of restraint, right? You got to make sure you don't take a sack here. Don't end up in the end zone. Ball gets stripped. You could give up two points in that occasion or maybe even six if you can't get on it and recover it yourself. So make sure you protect the guy throwing the football if indeed that's the plan of attack. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he's gonna get this from the six out to the 12. A pickup of six as they double their workspace. Let's talk about football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Check, check. Watch the four. Watch the four. Cover. On second down and four. Golf. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. 
This time they stay on the ground. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Henderson now on first and ten. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. So after the penalty, we'll have one final untimed play here before halftime. The final shot before break here. Golf. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of his first half of play. We now proceed to the start of the second half. scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Back on the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it in a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays. And I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 27. The second half starts with a carry by Bell. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. On second and nine, Darnold. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Samson Abukum, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Darnold and the Jets come up third and long following the sack. Third and long, it's Darnold. Caught here by Bell. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Here's Lachlan Edwards now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now Natson. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. Jared Goff and the NFC champs, they get ready to begin this drive. Big 
Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he loses the football a second time. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Here we go. 54 Watch the pass. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back now here on EA Sports, as we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Goff now to throw. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Bottom line, two-yard gain's just not going to cut it in this situation. You've got to move the ball downfield in order to have a chance. Defense will give him that the rest of the way. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. Goff. And he can't get the throw away. He's taken down. Henry Anderson in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. And that's caught inside the 30. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. before he's brought down. Now the Jets gonna use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Gurley again here on first down. Gurley's got the first down and then some. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley in the final minute. And the Rams are in for six. So we have a score to report oh, after whoa, 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 all. Whoa, 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 How about whoa, whoa, this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the press. Yeah, I know. I just broke broadcasting 101. I cut in on my play-by-play -play guy. <laughs> but think about it this way. Marvin, our crack, our crack researcher, just handed us a note. We haven't had a scoreless tie in the NFL since 1943. 43. 43. And we will not have history here in this one, part. Our first points of the game come in the fourth quarter. I don't think that either one of us saw this game unfolding this way when it all began. To no, do it. absolutely not. But hey, now it's still just a one score game. So don't go anywhere. A lot more to play for. Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 yard line. Darnold and the Jets now. Down 7 0. A little over 40 seconds to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. 
Mario Sanchez. Right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, right there. Record, record. Like Darnold now to throw. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. Darnold trying to hustle everybody along with the clock moving. Now Darnold hooking up over the middle with Herndon. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now it's Darnold. on the pressure from the Rams defense. The defensive player of the year, Aaron Donald. And it'll make this a second and long. So the LA Rams with a victory here. And not all W's are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense